If you're hunting for horror movie recommendations, you've come to the right place. Here's my quick list of five great Canadian horror films you might not have seen yet. Cube. Six strangers are stuck in a series of cube-shaped rooms filled with deadly traps. How deadly, you ask? Well, there's really five characters because the first guy meets a pretty dicey end in the opening minutes. There's a lot to love about the fantastic production design and keep you guessing sci-fi elements of the plot, but what really makes Cube work is the unique characters. Each one of the strangers has their own approach to the problem of the cube that's defined by their personality. The film deftly switches leads as it employs a series of clever tricks to make you identify with, then against, each character in turn. By the midpoint, you feel about as paranoid as the cast do. Come for the schlocky traps and the silly setup, but stay for the pot boiler tension. Ginger Snaps. Here. The Fitzgerald sisters are social outcasts obsessed with death. When a series of dog attacks in their neighborhood turns out to be the work of a werewolf, elder sister Ginger undergoes a series of transformations that frighten Bridget and start to place others in danger. Shot with a great sense of style and scripted with a wicked sense of humor, Ginger Snaps is a surprisingly heartfelt story that cleverly explores this female coming of age story through comparisons between puberty and werewolves. In the end, it all comes down to the strong bond between the Fitzgerald sisters. Cute, but horrible too. Scanners. Self-destruct, five seconds. The pain begins and your flesh and your brain four seconds you feel its power three seconds the pressure the pounding the terror Cameron Vale is a scanner, someone born with powerful telepathic and telekinetic powers who works for Consec, a private military company. When a rival scanner, Daryl Revok, assassinates one of Consec's own, Vale goes after him and uncovers the truth behind the genesis of scanners. Despite its stakesy story, it's really more of a horror sci-fi than an action thriller, showing director David Cronenberg's trademark body horror elements in a number of creepy set pieces. Ranging from fatal, fiery seances to being scanned by an unborn baby to the iconic head-exploding opening, Scanners is full of disturbing images. That's backed up by an all-time great debut role by Michael Ironside as the villainous Revok, and a side role by the late, great Patrick McGowan of The Prisoner. Scanners is a cracking cult classic and well worth seeing if you haven't yet. The Gate. Oh, I'm calling the police. Two young boys investigate a geode in their back garden and inadvertently open a hole to hell. I mean, come on, that's a great premise. What's not to love? This one is much lighter on horror elements, which combined with its young cast makes it a pretty good intro to the genre for anyone with younger family members. What should be scary here is typically more spooky. It helps that the visuals are incredibly inventive, mostly staging this demonic invasion through miniature stop motion figures and forced perspective. It's a really imaginative film and has a sort of dreamlike logic, so my advice for this one is don't question the plot too much, just sit back and enjoy the visuals. Beyond the Black Rainbow. Hello, Lena. How are you feeling? You look tired today. Have you had, uh... A psychopathic doctor who runs a former New Age Institute enacts a series of bizarre experiments on a young woman with psychic powers. This film is the debut from director Panos Cosmatos, whose second film Mandy was much more widely released and successful. If you enjoyed Mandy, you're in for a treat with this film, which purposefully employs this sort of nightmarish logic, opaque plot, fantastic production design, and this constant pumping soundtrack to induce a sort of trance in the viewer. Drawing equally on art house in independent movies and 80s B-movie trash, Beyond the Black Rainbow is a truly singular film experience. 
Watch it on the biggest screen you have with the biggest sound system you can find. That's it for my list of five great Canadian horror movies, and I'd love to hear your recommendations in the comments below. Maybe you like the more obscure Cronenberg films like Dead Ringers or Existence, or maybe there's a great horror auteur from Canada that I've missed out on. Let's discuss it. Until then, have a good one, and bye for now.